We all know GameFam as the most ethical company in the world. We love GameFam. Nobody has ever come out and said, uh, you know, that they felt mistreated at GameFam or overworked and underpaid. That didn't happen, and, and whoever's spreading that, stop, please, take that off the internet now. They are not being sued by FNF. And when addressed with all these controversies, what'd they have to say? They said, Wanna join my free gift card giveaway? Nothing about any of the controversies, but they did say, we are awesome. So I thought that was a pretty cool response. Um, after all the drama, I thought that, you know, that maybe Game Fam wouldn't get as many opportunities as they once did because Roblox always hands off, uh, you know, cool events and opportunities to Game Fam. Allegedly. You know, after Sonic Sweatshop Simulator got trending on Twitter, I thought, hey, maybe, maybe big brands wouldn't want to work with Game Fam anymore. And I have never been more wrong in my entire life because, uh, a Roblox SpongeBob SquarePants experience is currently being developed by GameFam. <laughs> we already had a SpongeBob game. I made it. Nickelodeon took down my SpongeBob game. Look at this. This got 20 million uh, visits and then Nickelodeon themselves actually took down my, my game. And maybe Nickelodeon didn't like me using their likeness to uh, create a little underground secret hell to send children to. Maybe they didn't like that. So you know what I did? I changed it. I changed it from SpongeBob to... Uh, what I change it to? I changed it to Sonic. Wait, wait, which game fam also worked with? And this game's still taken down. I am a natural enemy to game fam. They have Sonic Sweatshop Simulator. They have new SpongeBob game. Two brands I tried to steal from and they took down both of my games. Yeah, basically I saw a bunch of other SpongeBob games being taken down and I didn't want to lose my game with 26 million visits. So I changed it to Sonic and then the creators of SpongeBob still took it down. Yeah. Too slow. <laughs> Game fam is run by Mr. Krabs himself, so this makes sense. What inspired you to underpay your workers? Money! Isn't Game Fam being sued by the FNF? Hey, take this down now. You're gonna want to delete this off the internet. Someone actually used Game Fam's uh, apology, or well, not apology. They didn't apologize. They said we didn't do any of any bad stuff. Someone used it as an inspiration for an assignment where they had to basically write what not to do for a corporate speech. I'm not making this video to talk trash. And again, I would like to remind everyone, uh, all the individual developers and employees of Game. Game fam, they're just normal people. So don't harass anyone. Don't do anything like that. There's just a couple higher ups that are a little mischievous. Sometimes they get up to a little mischief. Not only do they get a SpongeBob game, which I made. Look, and they only took down my game because it was doing so good. They just delete your game when it gets enough visits. You know this, th yeah. This video isn't supposed to be so negative. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm admitting defeat here because not only does Game Fam have a SpongeBob game coming out, a game owned by a uh, Game Fam, Twilight Daycare, the game where you uh throw babies and hit them. They're making a movie or they're making a show out of it. Television series based on Roblox Twilight Daycare. They just keep winning, honestly. Despite all the people spreading these stories, these negative stories, they they came out on top, unfortunately. I'm sure the devs behind Twilight Daycare are normal people as well. Being under the game fam, game fam umbrella, it just uh, casts a large shadow over the project. I don't know how they're gonna make a movie uh, or a TV show on this. Look, I'm gonna do horrible things and you're gonna have to put that in the TV show. I'll put a baby in a fire. You're gonna put that on TV? Hey, little cry crier. Oh, you can't put him in the fire. Go in the fire. Ugh. All right. This user does not want to be disturbed. Well, haha. <laughs> Don't, don't put that smiley face. You know what I want to do. I guess maybe uh, in preparation for the TV show, they def I think they made it harder to kill babies, which um, that makes sense why they do that. How do I get the spray cans? I want to spray it in this baby's eyes. I want to see what happens. Breaks that way. Man, if my baby looked at me with that face, I, I think I'd take it to the hospital. Well, actually that's where they are. Oh wow, that makes sense. See, this is a good game. This is wholesome.
That's like a painful drool. Like you, you are losing control over your body because of how much pain you're in. You know, that's not like a, oh, I'm sleepy and cute. New baby rides. Do you, do you think SpongeBob knows that they're already, that they're copying their burger mobile? Slime, slime all. <laughs> so stupid. Haha, <laughs> you're getting slimed. They'd be able to make a more interesting TV show on one of uh, Game Fam's other games. What's it called? Uh, oh, Maple Hospital, the game where you can be pregnant and have cancer. Those are two features they added. This show would be definitely be pretty messed up, but uh, being able to tase a, a pregnant woman, like that, that would be interesting television. Bringing a gun and putting it to this lady, like, now that's what I like to call it, good TV. Putting a rat trap on this, uh, oh, I picked, I definitely picked the wrong patient to do this still. But mm -hmm. that would be, I have never seen that. <laughs> oh my God. Leave her alone. Oh my God, she ran into my rat trap. Oh, hey, uh, game fam, if you're watching right now, close your eyes because look, I stole something from you. This is still Sonic, technically. Ha ha, ha ha, you missed a spot. Yeah, I'm pretty upset that they uh, took this down. Like this, this brought me, this got me a lot of Robux, which was cool. It's just, it's so annoying that they took it down after I changed it. I thought if I clean up before you see my crime, I thought I'd be okay. You know, I, I don't know. I, I think that's reason reasonable. Ha ah, ha, look, look who still remains, Patrick Starr. Dead on the floor, age 20, had his whole life ahead of him. Haha. <laughs> yeah, I'm really grasping at straws. Uh, this wasn't meant to be such a negative video, but it is crazy how, uh, you know, Game Fam is like, get any, they get a lot of opportunities. Man, this was so awesome. Why do you have to take this away from me? Why, SpongeBob? SpongeBob, I grew up watching your show. Now I think about harming you. It's the first thought on my mind when I wake up. I think about, I can't, I don't even want to say it, SpongeBob. Oh, yeah, another TV show show based on a Roblox game is coming out or something. Creatures of uh, Sonaria. Son, son, uh, creatures of uh, somewhere. I think uh, the Creatures of Sonaria TV show, I think they're gonna film a bunch of bugs fighting. I think that'd be cool. I heard that that's what they're gonna do. They, they keep me in the loop because uh, everyone respects me and I have a, a good opinion on things. A thousand cockroach versus a thousand ants. This sounds like Creatures of Sonaria. No, but yeah, congratulations to them. Congratulations to Game Fam as well. I know this video comes off as a big hit piece, but I swear on my life that it isn't. Yeah, I remember being really hyped when I first saw a Roblox gift card in my local 7-Eleven. Because I started playing this game in 2008 when it was- Yeah, it had a couple hundred thousand players, but it was still relatively small. Like, if you asked someone what Roblox was, they nobody would know. Now everybody knows. Now we got Nickelodeon striking my content down. That's okay. They had every right to. So if Nickelodeon ever wants to work with me, I will say yes. I will say yes a million times over. Yes. 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 SHUT UP!